Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you all about CT School, how I got accepted, the books that I use, how much it costs. Um, if you have any other questions for me, just leave them in the comment box for me. I do work in radiology. I am a multi-modality technology. So I work in and licensed to do five modalities. That's X-ray, CT, MRI, mammography, and breast ultrasound. I'm going to share my experience with CT school, what made me join, if I like it or not. I will also share what I use to help pass my registry, how long it took for me to take my registry. So if I forget anything, can you please just put it in the comment box and I will answer it for you. I will also do a separate video on how I like working in CT. So I got into CT school because I was an x-ray tech first. I moved from a different state. The state that I lived in initially, it took me nine months to get an x-ray job. And my first job, I was at a prison. If you want to know more about it, I have two different videos, maybe even three, where I talk about my experience working in a prison as an x-ray tech. So I worked in a prison for two years. I only did chest x-rays. So I never felt comfortable with taking x-rays because I was only taking chest x-rays for two years. Fast forward, I moved to a different state where I got a job as an x-ray tech at an urgent care. But if I wasn't taking any x-rays, which it was hardly ever, I was taking x-rays since I was at an urgent care. I had to help with drug screens, vital signs, um, blood work, um, injections, hiding weight, different things like that. So over the years of me just not really working as an x-ray tech, I started losing my skills. So I never felt confident and comfortable with working in x-ray. And then being so, I didn't have a lot of experience. No one wanted to really give a new graduate an opportunity. It was just taking me a long time to get my skills and be confident whenever I work in x-ray. So I thought about doing CT school to just help my resume pretty much and give me an extra modality where I can get hired a little bit quicker. At the time, I graduated from x-ray school in 2014, and it was a lot of CT tech jobs available. People really needed CT techs at the time. Fast forward, this is 2025. So I went back to CT school in 2017 after I moved to the state that I live in now. And the enrollment process, it was pretty quickly. It's not really like a waiting list like with x-ray. You really don't get accepted or denied. It's kind of one of those things where you just sign up and you can get in the program. So nowadays, a lot of CT programs is fully online. But with my program, I went in the classroom setting because I didn't know there was programs being offered online. The state I came from, nothing in radiology was offered online and they only had an x-ray program where I, the state I came from. I think in the entire state, I can't remember. But so I found the program locally at a college and this program was only on Saturdays. And the class portion was probably we meet like once every Saturday. And I think it was probably for a month or two. And then you go to clinic. So for the clinical, it was about three months. I paid. So I, I got a scholarship to pay for my tuition. I think the scholarship was like for $500 because the actual CT program, it wasn't expensive. Well, it wasn't that much compared to what it is now. I think it was probably like $1,000 or $1,200. And then you had to pay for books. So the books that... We used in class, it really did not, I feel, did not help me prepare for my registry. What helped me prepare for my registry was like other books. It was sectional anatomy books. It was other review books. But I do have a full list of review questions and answers, uh, an entire playlist of PowerPoint lessons, lessons where I'm showing you what to know and what to prepare for your registry. If you're watching this video and you're wanting to become a CT tag, if you're studying for your boards, if you go and check out my CT registry review playlist, I have a full registry review for you all already made because I am or would like to teach in radiology. 
So I used to teach briefly and then now I'm still trying to get into radiology teaching. So that's why I made the lesson because my passion is to teach. So whenever I did my clinical, it was only for three months. I was able to go into like a hospital setting. Later on, I did get hired by this hospital, but it was only for x-ray. And if they needed me, they was going to let me do CT. But I did get hired. So with the clinical, I learned like different things. The easiest thing you will get in clinical for CT, the first thing, probably the first week you should be able to knock out is a head, a head without your cervical spines, your abdomens without, your chest without. Those those are pretty much easy to knock out and be able to set up within at least a week or two. At least the first week, you should be almost done with your CT head scans because it doesn't take a long time to do your heads. At the time, I needed five. I think now you have to have at least seven or a minimum of five or a max of seven. But when I was going through the program, you needed a minimum of three exams or procedures and a maximum of five. So I know a lot has changed since I had did the program. So I just I just went in wanting to learn, want to get my exams in because I didn't know if I was going to have to change a site. I knew another student was going to be there and I didn't know if it was going to be doing it on the same day. So I just wanted to get as many numbers as I can, just knocked out. I know a lot of students, they struggle with CTPEs, um, any type of angiography studies where you have to use contrast and inject it very quickly. That wasn't a struggle for me because I just went in there and I was just willing to learn. But if you have any questions about that, uh, feel free to comment and also check out my playlist that I have with the CT registry review questions. So starting an IV, that was pretty easy for me because keep in mind, I came from an urgent care and we did like a lot of blood work. So I had to use the butterfly needle a lot. So that kind of gave me like a base of starting an IV. So if you work at a place, I would just start practicing with a butterfly needle and then it would just make it a little bit more easier to start an IV. I told you I like to teach. So on my playlist as well, if you go in and click on playlist in my video. I have a lot of starting IV videos and butterfly needle stick videos where I show you how to start an IV and how to um, stick butterfly needles. So this is just what I like to do. I'm not saying this is the right way. This is the wrong way. This is just how I get my IVs in on my patients. So whenever I was going through CT school, I did have just one run in with a technologist um, that was very rude to me one day. But other than that, all of the all of the other techs was nice to me. They was willing to help me get my numbers in. There was one person who just really liked to tease. She was like, hey, this is coming in. Do you want it? That is coming in. Are you able to stay late? So that was helpful whenever you check the list and see what is next to be scanned. It was very helpful. At that hospital, I think I was done with all of my exams in like one month, probably no more than one and a half month. But the program had me set to be there for three months. Now, if the if the hospital would have hired me, I could have gotten done with my program right then and there because they hired me out of my program. But they hired me for x-ray. And then after I passed my CT registry, they was going to let me work in CT. So when I was stu when I was studying for my registry, I studied for I think I studied maybe for a good week and then I took my registry. So what I say is if you are studying for your registry, I suggest do not go any longer than three months when you are studying because you are going to forget. Do not change your answers whenever you do take your test because you are going to forget or you're going to like lose out on and correct answer change into an incorrect answer do not reschedule your test whatever date you choose just leave it there so overall i had a good experience in ct i will say whenever you are getting out of ct school or ct clinical try to stay 
in a setting where you're working with other people until you're able to learn as much as you need to learn. And then you can branch out to an outpatient imaging clinic because with outpatient imaging clinics, you are the only technologist on the shelf. So you don't want to get on a shift by yourself at an outpatient clinic and you're not comfortable with doing PE exams. You're not comfortable with doing runoffs, different exams like that. So as you're learning and you get out of CT school, just stay in a hospital setting. Or if you learned at a clinic, that would be perfect because at least you've already learned at a clinic. So you know what to expect. But just learn as much as you can. I think one thing that I was nervous about in CT school was just the biopsy procedures. And it's just, you know, trying to be perfect and fast for the radiologists, which they are nice. They are patient. But it's like, you know, that mindset of you being a student and you know that you don't want to mess up. You don't want to prolong anything. They probably have to go into another case. So you're overthinking and you're like, I hope I don't mess this up. So the first thing I will suggest is get comfortable with setting up the biopsy tray. Because as a CT tech, you have to set up the biopsy tray. And then after that, observe a few exams with the technologist. If you are doing like lung biopsies or kidney biopsies, observe observe them probably three or four and then ask the technologist can you just start going in and moving in the patient or handing the instruments you know the biopsy needles and guns to the radiologist so you can just start getting more comfortable with doing those procedures because if you work in a hospital you will have to do biopsies or rotate and do biopsies but other than that um, I can't think of anything I will say Check out my CT review playlist if you're looking for any studying material. It's all on my YouTube page. All you have to do is click on my playlist, go to the CT registry review tab, and it will take you to my video. If you have any other questions for me or if you want me to do a CT Tech Q&A, let me know in the comment box. If you want me to share my journey, if I'm still liking CT or not, you can also put in the comment. But if you have any other questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment box. Thank you all for watching. Bye.